Hello everyone. For several classes, we have already solved International Journal Knowledge Olympiad question papers of previous years. But this year, you will be asked current affairs and general knowledge questions of this year, that is 2023 as well. So this video is for all those kids who are going to appear for IGQ 2023 Olympiad exam, because I'll be sharing. Current affairs or general knowledge question answers of 2023. Let's get started. Who is the current president of India? The right answer is Shrimati Draupadi Murmu. Let's go to the next one. Who is the current vice president of India? The answer is Shri Jagdeep Dhankar. Next question is. Who is the current Prime Minister of India? The right answer is Shri Narendra Modi. Next question. Who is the first citizen of India? And the right answer is the current President of India. So whenever this question is asked, please understand that the first citizen of India is always the running President of India. Who is the current president of USA? The right answer is Joe Biden. Who is the current president of Russia? It is Vladimir Putin. Who is the current prime minister of United Kingdom? It is Rishi Sunak. What is G20? We all know that G20 is currently happening and do we actually know what is G20? Let's know the answer. The G20 or group of 20 is an intergovernmental forum comprising 19 countries including India and the European Union. The question is, what is purpose of G20 summit? Now we understood what was G20. Now we have to understand the purpose of G20 summit. It is a forum for international economic cooperation and acts as a platform for major economies to discuss and align their economic policies, promoting global stability and growth. Next question is, who is hosting 2023 G20 Leaders Summit? And the answer is India. It is happening in Delhi. Upcoming questions are related to space. What is the name of India's moon mission in 2023? And the right answer is Chandrayaan 3. When was Chandrayaan 3 launched and from where? It was launched on 14th July 2023 from Satish Dhawan Space Center second launch pad in Sri Harikota, which is in Andhra Pradesh, India. What is the name of launch vehicle that carried Chandrayaan 3? It is LVM 3 M4. LVM stands for Launch Vehicle Mark 3. Next question is Name three main units of Chandrayaan 3. First, Propulsion Module. Second, Lunar Lander. And the third one is Rover. Question What is the name of Chandrayaan 3 lunar rover? It's Pragyan rover. What is the name of Chandrayaan 3 lunar lander? It's Vikram lander. Next question What is the Chandrayaan 3 mission life? Now let's understand this. So, all the three modules we are going to discuss and understand there mission life. Propulsion module. It carries lander and rover to 100 by 100 kilometers orbit with operation of experimental payload for up to six months. Lander module. Life is one lunar daylight period that is 14 Earth days. And rover module. It's one lunar daylight period that is 14 Earth days. Question. Which country is the first one to land on lunar south pole? 
The right answer is India. Name the countries that have landed on lunar surface till date. They are USA, Russia, China and now India. How many earth days are equal to one lunar day? One lunar day is equal to 14 earth days. Next question. What is the name of India's first solar mission 2023? The right answer is Aditya L1 mission. Aditya L1 is a satellite dedicated to the comprehensive study of the sun. Next question. Why is it named as Aditya L1? In Sanskrit language, Aditya means sun and L1 here refers to Lagrange point 1 of the sun-earth system. Which launch vehicle is used for Aditya L1 mission? And answer is PSLV C57. PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Next question. When was Aditya L1 launched? It was launched on 2nd September 2023 from Satish Dhawan Space Center, second launch pad in Sri Harikota, which is in Andhra Pradesh, India. Question, where will Aditya L1 be placed in space? And the answer is, the spacecraft is planned to be placed in a halo orbit around the L1 point of the Sun-Earth system, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. How much time will it take Aditya L1 to reach L1 point? Approximately 127 days after its launch. What are the key objectives of Aditya L1 mission? It is to understand in more detail coronal heating and solar wind acceleration, coupling and dynamics of the solar atmosphere, solar wind distribution and temperature and isotropy, initiation of CME, flares and near-earth weather, space weather. to the sports section and see what's happening in the sports area in 2023. Where was World Athletics Championship 2023 held? It was held at the National Athletic Center in Budapest, Hungary. Who won gold medal for India in World Athletics Championship 2023? And the right answer is Neerat Chopra in the men's javelin throw event. Who is the winner of the Chess World Cup 2023? It's Magnus Carlsen from Norway. Who is the runner-up of the Chess World Cup 2023? It's Ramesh Babu Pragnananda from India. Who is the host country of ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2023? And the answer is India. Who won the men's single title at Wimbledon Championship 2023? And the right answer is Carlos Alcaraz and is from Spain. Next question. Who won FIFA Women's World Cup 2023? And the answer is Spain Women's National Football Team. Who won the men's singles title at the Australian Open 2023? And the right answer is Novak Djokovic. For most of the key current affairs of 2023 till date in the previous slides, now in upcoming slides, I'm going to share the current cabinet ministers of India so that you all are informed about who is looking after what. So here it is, cabinets and then their ministers. Ministry of Defense, it's Sri Rajnath Singh. Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Cooperation, it's Sri Amit Shah. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, it's Nitin Jairam. Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Corporate Affairs, it's Srimati Nirmala. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, it's Sri Narendra Singh Tomar. Ministry of External Affairs, 
डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम जयशंकर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स श्री अर्जुन मुंडा मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ विमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स इट्स श्रीमती स्मृति जुबिन ईरानी Ministry of Commerce and Industry and Ministry of Consumer Affairs Food and Public Distribution and Ministry of Textiles this is taken care by Shri Piyush Goyal Ministry of Education and Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is Shri Dharmendra Pradhan Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs Ministry of Coal Ministry of Mines is Shri Pralhad Joshi Ministry of Micro Small and Medium Enterprises it's Shri Narayan Taturani Ministry of Ports Shipping and Waterways Ministry of Ayurveda Yoga and Naturopathy it's Shri Sarbanand Sonowal Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment it's Dr Virendra Kumar Ministry of Rural Development and Ministry of Panchayati Raj it's Shri Giriraj Singh Ministry of Civil Aviation and Ministry of Steel it's Shri Jyotiraditya Ministry of Railways Ministry of Communication and Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology it's Shri Ashwini Vaishnav Ministry of Food Processing Industries it's Shri Pashupati Kumar Paras Ministry of Jal Shakti it's Shri Gajendra Singh Shekhawat Ministry of Earth Sciences it's Shri Kiran Rijiju Ministry of Power and Ministry of New Renewable Energy is Shri Rajkumar Singh Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs is Shri Hardeep Singh Puri Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers is Shri Mansukh Mandavia Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change and Ministry of Labor and Employment it's Shri Bhupendra Yadav Ministry of Heavy Industries is Dr Mahendra Nath Pandey Ministry of Fisheries Animal Husbandry and Dairying it's Shri Purushottam Rupala Ministry of Culture Ministry of Tourism and Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region it's shri g kishan reddy ministry of information and broadcasting and ministry of youth affairs and sports is shri anurag singh thakur that is all for today and if there will be anything more any major event happening i'll be posting the shorts about it so keep watching the channel and be updated keep watching and keep learning thank you bye bye